Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jim at the mower and today we're here to do a quick review and demonstration on how to use the Ferex electric garden shredder. So before we start then, we'll just have a quick run through. If you haven't seen the video of how this arrives in its box, you can have a look at that. I'll put a link in somewhere and you can click on there and it will take you to the initial setup. We've put it all together. I've got the instructions with me just in case. I'll put those down behind. I've got my snips in my hand and we've got the box on top. We've got a few showers on and off today. So this box on top, instead of having to stop working for the whole day, you can flip this over and put it on and it keeps everything nice and safe and dry. Now this is the actual box that all the clippings go into. So and it only fits in one way. It fits in with this bit at this end, but it only fits in from this side here. There's a little arrow on the top there and a little arrow on the top there. And when you lift it up, you slot it into the grooves. If you can do it without it running away from it, like so. And it's all slotted in there. Once it's slotted in there, there's a little handle on this side and we pull that up and that's in. We've got it plugged in and a red light appears on your little dashboard here. So we know that that's plugged in and there's power to it. Now this here, if you've seen the other video, I was wondering where this handle went. I was trying to attach it on there. I thought it might be something for pulling it along, but it's not. That's your actual pusher. So if you've got any blockage in there or this little bit, you can push that down into there and that will push the bits through the actual shredder itself. So. Now it's all set up and ready to go. I've got some branches either side. We've got some thin stuff here, slightly thicker, and we've got some really thick stuff over there. I don't know what it will cut. I haven't got a clue. We'll just give it a go. Um, it's for sort of light domestic use, so I'm presuming hedge clippings, little bits of pruning, whatever you can throw it all in there, shreds it up into the box below, pop that into your compost heap or into your uh, green recycling bin, your, your green waste, and I'll take that away. And it should save you quite a bit of space, I'm hoping anyway. So before we start, I'll just put this down. Oh no, I'll put that in there out of the way and I'll turn this round and tilt it forwards. We've got on the top, the red button, the green button, the forward and reverse button. So green button starts it, red button stops it. We've got a little switch in there and that switch is pressed down, that's a reset switch. So if there's ever any problems with it and it trips itself out, this pops out. So as long as that reset switch is down, it should be running. Now, we're in the forward position, so it's pulling things in. There's a little sticker on there. The sticker isn't very well stuck on. And I can imagine losing that in a few weeks, you know, when you've had some use out of it, but detailed on the plastic, it does actually tell you. So that's pointing into the machine and that's what we've got. And then we can press this and it starts up. And that's pulling stuff in. We press stop and it stops. Now we can put it in reverse. So if we get a jam in there, we can push stuff out and we hold down the green button. We let go of the green button and it stops because that's all right. It doesn't need to be running in reverse all the time. It needs to be running forwards all the time because you're putting stuff in. You don't want to keep pressing it every time you put something in again. So reverse, it stops automatically. We turn it to forward, press it, and it'll just run continuously. So now we stop it again, right? So that's the control panel. Now, I had to do some jigging about with this because like every man, as soon as I got it, I looked at it and I thought, what's this for? And I turned it one way and I turned it the other way and I turned it one way and I turned it the other way and I couldn't really tell. And then I read the instructions and it said in there, this knob is preset at the factory <laughs> to keep the pressure plate against the shredder itself. So I had to read how to reset it. So what you do basically is back it all the way off anti-clockwise. So the pressure plate is away from the shredder. Then you turn it on so the shredder's running and you just turn it round slowly and you look through the top. Now this is why I've got safety glasses on because there's little shards of metal come off there because you're grinding one surface against another. So when you turn it round, you're looking down on the top and as it starts to press against there, it will just touch and it will just start to grind and that's it. You just stop that wheel then. And I know the wheel's a bit wobbly, but it's actually locked, it won't turn clockwise or anti-clockwise. It locks itself in. So 
that's that bit done. So there you go then, we've got the shredder, we know how to start it up and forward, in forwards and reverse to, to clear a blockage. We know how to set the, uh, the blade on there to the shredder. Let's get a few bits, pop them in and see how it works. So then, we know how to put it in forwards, now we put it in reverse to clear a blockage. We've got it set to the, the blade there. It sh it's factory set when it comes, so you shouldn't have to mess with it. But if you do, you just turn it clockwise just to tighten it up a little bit. If, you, if it's not working, you'll see, because it'll just pull the branch through into the bottom, I should think. So I'll just fire it up now, and we'll put a few of these little bits in. I've got my snips here, in case we need to get it any smaller. And I'll try and work through this little pile here, and then we'll work on some bigger stuff. So just press it and see how we get on. Oh. Safety first, you have to click this handle up on the side so it allows that to work. We've got the red light on the top, going forward, pressed it and we're on. There we go, it's working, it's shredding up. It's quite quiet, isn't it really, considering? I thought it'd be noisier than this. Try and push some stuff in, eh? That's working. Try something a bit thicker. Seems to work all right. Let's just have a look. Take the safety off, that turns this off now, so no matter what we do, it won't feed through. I'll just drop this in the top. Let's have a look in the tray. Look at that then, all chopped up. There'd be a lot of snipping, wouldn't there, to get that done. Right, that seems all right. Let's try some thicker stuff now. Hey, that seems to be working all right as well. That's not bad. Right, I'm going to try this. That's probably what, about two centimetres across, something like that. A couple of centimetres, 20 mil, maybe 25 mil. I'll see if that will go through now. And it's working. I'm impressed with that. I really am, I didn't think it would take that much through. No way, blimey. How about that then, we'll put some more in, just keep feeding it.
I'm really impressed, really impressed. Right, safety off. Look at this. Look at that, eh? Look at that for fine mulch. That's brilliant. That really is good. That's a lot better than I, a lot better than I expected. Right, I've got some slightly thicker stuff. Now, I'm pretty sure this won't go through, but hey, you know what? I'll try it. And if my machine breaks, that's my machine. At least you won't have broken yours. So I'll get some of that other stuff and give it a whirl. Right then, I got the thicker stuff. Here we go. It's thick at this end, thinner at this end. But we always put them in like that. So if you've got any branches or whatever, they fold up and go in and they don't splay out and block it. So we're going to measure this end now, the thickest part. And we've got about just under 30 mil, I think. So as you can see, it's a lot thicker than my thumb. So there's a fair chunk there. If this goes in, I'll be really impressed, especially for the, for the money we paid for it, right? So let's fire it up and see what happens. Look at that. I can't believe it. That's a lot better than I thought. Definitely a lot better. Now I've got some other stuff here. Let's have a look at this one then. If he's taken that one in, let's try this. This is about as thick as you'll get sort of out your garden pruning any thicker than that now that's just over that's probably about 35 mil it's a bit thicker there and we got some a bit at the end what we got there that's well what we got across the top of there 60 mil altogether so i'll try it i don't think it'll go through but we'll try it you never know straight through no bother at all unbelievable Unbelievable, that's a lot better than I ever expected. I'm gonna go and grab some more stuff. Right then, impressed by that, we've got some rough cut bits and pieces here. I don't know what we got, sort of, if we measure them widest part, they're all 50, 60 mil, sort of across, all raggedy and bits sticking out. We'll just chuck them in and see if it works. If it doesn't work, we've lost nothing, because I tell you what, I'm really impressed with it. I never thought it'd handle bits that big, and we like, Hardly anything in the box as well from that big pile of stuff we've got both sides. We don't have hardly anything, so this is looking good. Right, let's give it a go. Oh, stop there, look. Stop there because of these bits sticking out on the side. It won't, you can't pull them through. So I'll put that down to one side. I'll cut those off for my snips and then we get back. I think this is about the thickest one we got. That's a fair chunk. It's just pulling it straight through. I can't believe it. Oh, I got one with a bend in it there. No, the bend won't go either. This one might, we'll see. It's pulled that through, wow. I can't believe it, you know, I really can't. I think I might struggle to snip these. I'll try to struggle to snip these with this little one here. I'll have to use the, uh, these big ones behind. And then we'll see. So we cut that little dog leg off. And then it goes, I'll put the dog leg in, see if it'll take that through. Oh, not quite, not quite. Let's trim this one up. Leave a little, couple of little bits on the outside. Oh, that dog leg's gone through now. Push through with that. That's in, that's in. I haven't got a lot left. Give it a push down with this, make sure everything goes through. Absolutely fantastic. I can't believe it. That's far exceeded my expectations. It really, really has. Wow, what a bit of kit. I was expecting, you know, we'll plug it in, we'll fire it up. The motor doesn't sound very loud. It doesn't sound very powerful, but there's a lot of torque in there, isn't there? And as it's turning round, it's crushing those things up and slicing them against that cutting plate that we adjusted on there. 
it really is working a treat. So how about that then, eh? Far exceeding my expectations, I can't believe it. We've gone from these big piles of stuff either side, we'd have chucked them all in a wheelie bin and near enough filled it. If you'd have spent a bit of time and chopped them up, you'd have got a half a wheelie bin maybe. But look what we've got in here. All this stuff, eh? Chopped up like this, barely enough to cover the bottom. Absolutely fantastic. I'll pick out some bigger bits, you can see what we chopped up. You know, look at those there. Chopped them up, gone straight through, another bit there. You know, how great is that? What a, what a great machine, I can't believe it. Really fantastic. Um, I think that's about it for this. I'm gonna have to get on and cut the grass now. I've dropped bits and pieces all over, so it needs a good tidy up. Thanks for watching. If you can give me the thumbs up and subscribe, that'd be absolutely great. If you wanna pop something nice in the comments section below, or just say hi, I'll answer each and every one of you. Thanks again for watching. I'm Jimmy the Mower. I'll catch you on the next one.